Hi everyone, welcome to another video. I've been having some HF noise issues and uh, finally tracked it down to my network switch. Unfortunately, my coax cable runs right along the same piece of uh, flex pipe conduit up to the attic that my network cables do. So hindsight being 2020, I would have uh, routed it another way or I would have used at least shielded cable. But as you can see here, as I'm tuning through, this noise is present about every 11 or 12 kilohertz up and down the band. It's not bad when you're not on one of the actual frequencies, but one of them happens to fall right on 28440 here, and that's a pretty popular one. When the band opens, there's almost always somebody calling on there, and uh, it's quite a pain. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to unplug the switch. You can see it goes away. So this is my um, current switch is the Cisco SG110D. So that's what we're looking at now. And then I purchased uh, three other switches to compare. And that's what we're going to do today is compare the existing one with the additional three new ones and see how they stack up as far as HF interference goes on the particular uh, frequency here on 10 meters. So Amazon's kind enough to let me know there's a newer version of the one I have. And here it is. So let's, uh, let's try it out. That's the CBS 10, uh, 110 and we can see it's pretty similar, about the same amount of noise. Uh, I keep an eye on the S units. I know it would be nice to have a you know, fully functional spectrum analyzer and all that uh, so we could see down to the decibel level. But for this, I'm gonna use the S meter in the scope and we can see it's uh, peaking about two or three lights on the uh, S meter here up to S1, which is just about what the existing one was doing. The tone does sound a little bit different. So let's try out the Netgear one. Another good bargain, $19.99 for this Netgear. And it's not quite as bad. It's uh, The tone is a higher pitch tone. But if you look at the S units, you see just barely one or two lights will light up every now and then whereas it was consistently getting up to uh, you know, two or three lights on the, the older Cisco switch and the newer Cisco switch that I had before. This, uh, in my opinion, is slightly better than uh, what I was using for the last couple of years. And then last is the TP-Link modem. I thought I'd try a TP-Link brand just to try some different brands. And this one was probably the worst. The only thing, one of the things I did notice different about this one also is it took a 5-volt power supply and all the other ones wanted a 12-volt. not sure that makes a difference, but that was one of the main differences. You can see this one's consistently peaking over S1 and getting to S2 sometimes, so very noisy. It also seems like the noise is a little broader. If you look at the lines, it's almost like the noise is a little more broadbanded. So here's the uh, winner, the Netgear. It's an GS308. That's the one I chose to stick with and replace my original Cisco modem. I hope if you're having any HF noise issues that this will help you out. I think for $20, after all the money you could spend on filters and a better radio and different wiring, I think uh, trying to reduce the source noise is the best place to start. And for 20 bucks, I think this is the best option. So just wanted to drop this video on here in case anybody else is having trouble and wondering what might be a uh, quieter switch to try out to help reduce their HF noise. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want more content like this, don't forget to subscribe.